Now let's look at the astrology side of the story. In astrology, lucky Jupiter, that's the planet that usually gives us the key about where we will be fortunate. It is in the beautiful sign of Libra, love and peace. And it will move into Scorpio, deep transformation in November. Why Saturn, that is the lesson planet in Sagittarius that has to do with all the cultures of the world, it's also the planet of protection and human rights, will join Pluto, planet of world affairs in Capricorn, powers that be, in the month of December. You see what's cooking here? Mm. And it also will connect with Uranus, Uranus, planet of shock, of change and innovation. And also with space, remains in the sign of Aries, the pioneer, the number one, keeping pushing us forward into the future. And Neptune, planet of the spirit and the soul, that represents healing and spiritual forces, will remain in Pisces. And it's in its own sign, really, really healthy and very, very good. It really keeps us in the soul. It pushes us in the spiritual. The good news is that the big, big transformative hits we've been experiencing also through the seven big squares that happened between Pluto and Uranus the last few years finally are over. So hope and a fresh start in the right direction of righteousness await. And now what will be the outcome of this uh, shocking US election that occurred that actually changed everything forever? Well, for many, many of you in the USA, in Canada, in Mexico, and even in the rest of the world, what happened with the last US election, the majority of people felt like a 9-11 stroke all over again. 1% didn't mind, the other 29%, they were happy, but altogether, still a big majority of people got really shaken by this, leaving us with a very, very, very sad reality that 30% of the population in America, the United States of America, wants to throw out the other 7%, 70% of the other half because of their gender, their race, their faith, their skin, their color, whatever, making it the most divided America ever. It's become divided states of, Amer of America. What is that? That's not going to happen. And to add to the frustration, the new political leaders seem to want to bring the U.S. and the world back to the good old days before the 1920s. Seriously talking about undoing all the great democratic work that was done in the last 70 years after the war. Uh -uh. Of course, this can be very, uh, very scary for many, many, many people and the majority of people, by the way, 70% of the population in the US and 80% of the world is going like, whoa, I'm going to have, I'm going to tell you something amazing. Don't be worried. Be happy. You know the song? Don't worry. Be happy. That's the message of 2017. Everything happens for a reason and always for the better good. No shock, no transformation. No adversity, no growth, no darkness, no light, no day, no night. It's all good. The stars say that everything will be amazing. I say everything will be great, greater than you could ever imagine. There's a miracle in the making. The secret to truly, truly, it's to look at it from the bigger cosmic picture and look at the lessons how we are growing there's always a beautiful flower growing in the manure and the flower needs sunshine and a little water lots of manure we are in these moments now and it's all good one thing is certain peace starts with each one of us love everything good starts with us by celebrating both our blessings and our challenges, our dark and our angel, both are part of you being alive. Peace of mind keeps us in a high resonance energy, spiral up 
if you go spiral down, you will not manifest. Because when you're spiraling up by positivity, you manifest positive outcomes. It turns conflicts into unity, leading to peace in our home, in our neighborhoods, cities, and eventually countries and the world.